want to do this. Oh, maybe it's not that fragile. Hang on, let me just... There we go. What is up, guys? It's back for one here, back with another Viscera Cleanup Detail Tutorial video. Now, today, in this video, I am going to be playing the map on the list, which is going to be Waste Disposal. And I'm gonna teach you about the... Uh, uh, how do I say this? I'm gonna have... At the... Uh, I'm also going to uh, make some additions to to what I taught you from the previous video. I missed some things, just some small things, couple of things, but uh, we'll get on to that. So, right, as I said in the last video, the first thing I would do would be to locate the water dispenser and the incinerator. Let me open that. Right, so now that I located where uh, the location from the water dispenser to the incinerator, I can start cleaning over there, but since it's already a nice clean area I will just start mopping and one thing that I uh, typically like to do in this level is that I will like, just go up here to grab this spot over here just because I can you know I mean, it's nice nice and easy I don't have to go in the water all oh, right the water I'm gonna talk about that in a bit mm. all right we still have more juice here I guess we can take it over here and wipe some things over here oh and this this is also this is also a blood, uh, bird, by the way. You can also mop that. Not these, though. I mean, it's not, it's not very, like, um, clear what the dirt is in this level. But uh, some of the mo more visible dirt is like, like this thing. And I think that might just be all. I will show you. I, I hopefully, I think I might, I can help show you what can be mopped and what cannot be mopped. But uh, right now, I'm going just to uh, start mopping and see what happens. I'm just gonna throw all these in the incinerator. I mean, they're close by. Why not? So the next thing I want to try to do is mop my way over to the bin dispenser. As you can see, it's right over there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I what? Oh, excuse me. I and I want to grab a bin um, next to the water dispenser as fast as possible to prevent any sort of malfunction just like that. Yes, yeah, pretty unfortunate, but, uh, that's what we're gonna have to work with. Thankfully, the incinerator is close by, but I'm still going to grab a... Still going to grab... Why did that... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still going to grab a bin over and place it next to the water dispenser anyway. Because, yeah, because I prefer to do it that way. Uh, but we'll first um, mop up everything we see nearby, of course. So like over here, just mop it up as we go along so that we don't miss anything. Alright, there's things up here too. I guess technically I'm also going to show you what you should do in this map. Like... Almost every map there's like something different to make, be sure of, make sure of, and for this map you just gotta make sure you grab all the blood and everything. Sometimes it's not that visible. Uh, okay, one tip I can tell teach you so that uh you have this like perfectly clean room map, perfectly clean map, and you can like just come over here and map this. Well, without even. Uh, stepping into the water because like, when you step into the water you leave footprints behind. I will show you that in a bit uh, Okay, there you have it uh, the, the buckets stuck in the bucket. Ah, oh, thank god. Okay Probably happened because it collided with the walls or something But uh, anyway All right, so there's also another trick you can do with stacked buckets. You can like just do this like you can just jump in and tap the bucket to clean it but I would not recommend you do that because it's like very very dangerous you it might glitch out the bucket it didn't that time which is good uh, but in most cases it will so yeah now that I'm in the water and I go out it leaves footprints it just leaves one set of footprints but still it leaves footprints and uh, the water is dirty <laughs> yeah you cannot clean it you cannot clean it at all you know, like, no, no matter how many times don't matter how many times you try to tap it and then clean it, 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 it just won't clean. Because that's just how it is, you can dump water in there, it doesn't mind, it's an, it, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but uh, I still wouldn't re recommend you do that, because well, one, that's a waste of time, and two, you might just dump it on the floor there, and make a mess for yourself. 
while you're at it. So uh, it's, it's it's unnecessary. So don't 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 uh, don't bother. Don't bother. Just 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 do you. You know. Just 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 keep mopping. Just mop and mop and mop. So that's, that's all you gotta do. All right. One thing that I wanted to demonstrate uh, in my previous video, but did not get to do that, is that one single bucket can clean up to five fully dirty mops. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate. To you so that all right, it's fully dirty once one time I tap the bucket once uh, going up oh, step in blood not sure how I really did Let's do a double take oh it's dirty two mm -hmm. three Go up here and mop this. Four. Yeah, that's dirty. Yeah. Five. And as you can see, it's dirty now. So yeah, one one single bucket can clean up to five fully, uh, fully dirty map. There is a way where you can utilize the the bucket to its full potential where you like only mop a bit and then you clean it and then so that you can clean more but I don't know I, I don't know how to do that why would you want to do that anyway I mean just just clean it all man just clean it all clean until you can't clean anymore alright that's also another thing you're gonna learn like usually when you see a bucket it's, it looks like it's dirty uh, but as you play you're gonna learn that this actually is not dirty as you can see it's still clean. <laughs> it's just a skill you learn over time. You can like tell the bucket if you can tell if the bucket's clean or not. And even though my uh, even though my mop's like fully dirty, it still totally cleans it even though the bucket isn't like fully clean. So yeah, that's neat. That's that's very neat. Oh my god, let's not do that. Hmm. Well, I guess we can grab the bucket over there. Alright, and also like whenever I try to grab a bucket and want to switch to my map right away, I like grab the bucket and then when I walk over there, I press one. It saves more time. <laughs> Just neat thing that I did. Alright, and also there are like um, suit marks over like those two places that I just did. You might not be able to see it. You need a. You might need like a light or something. Which I will get into in a bit. And there we go. That's that's good. That's nice. Been next to water. All right. So I'm gonna teach you guys something about the uh, vending machine. So the uh, vending machine is this thing right here. It appears in most levels, but for some reason it just doesn't appear in Athena's Wrath. Well, there are some other levels that don't have this vending machine, but most of the time you're going to see this thing, and it just. It vents stuff. It vents stuff. You can like choose what you want. For example, if I want a wet floor sign, I just have to press vent, and it's going to give me this wet floor sign. And I'm going to immediately throw away this because I do not need it at all. Yeah, they're essentially useless. And this can just go in the water or whatever. I don't care. All right, wet floor sign, solar flares, uh, first day supplies, lanterns. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys what a solar flare is. Solar flare is uh, this thing. Right here, you might see this uh, around the level, like, like this, um, yeah, like that. Um, you don't have to burn them. You don't necessarily have to throw them into the incinerator to get 100%. You do not have to burn them at all. You can just leave them where that where they are. It's, it's totally fine. But what they do is that they can, uh, they light up for you. They give you light in dark places. So what you can do is, uh, I'm not sure which tip. Uh, lights up. I think it's this tip. You can like swipe the swipe the walls, and it can like uh, get lit or something like that. And you can see right here, you see all of these soot marks and dirt and all that very much clearly now. It's a very bright red light. Hence, why the name is called the solar flare. Now, whenever uh, this this solar flare, it's bright, but it has a duration like after like a minute or something it it goes out and runs out and when it does it's going to be a burnt flare and you have to throw away the burnt flares it, and you can tell what what kind of flare is burnt and what's not and I'll tell you that in a bit and also you can like just uh, not only 
and uh, you don't necessarily have to swipe a wall to open the flare you can literally just uh, hold down left click don't move it don't like rotate it just just hold it just hold it down and you will open the flare flip the flare as well but we do not need that let's just throw that away uh, that is all if it's if it's not used you don't have to throw them away once it's used you have to uh, that's that's all for the flare next up is the lantern all right the lantern possibly one of the best one of the best uh, light sources in the game i would say um it's bright it's very bright it's not as bright as the solar flare but it does the job and um it emits a pretty vibrant light if you're on high gamma um uh, if you're playing in regular gamma like uh, 0.75 or something it's, it's still pretty dark yeah it's still pretty dark you can't really see much what about solar flare ah whoops okay yeah, this is a this is a burnt solar flare. Hang on, let me just open the gamma up way high again. So yeah, this is a burnt solar flare. It's very different from a regular solar flare, as you can see. It, the entire thing is more darker. It's like it's burnt already. And these things, now these things you have to burn. Uh, they do get picked up by the sniffer, so you do have to burn them. Mm. And about the lantern, right? Lantern. Uh, the lantern is like this. Uh, you can rotate it. Place it down, whatever. If you hold it, you will turn it off. Hold it back again, you turn it on. Now, this thing is very fragile. I warn you, this thing is very fragile because it will break and it will leave dirt suit marks everywhere. I'm going to demonstrate it even though I really don't want to. Hang on, I oh, apparently I left some blood here. See, yeah, this is why I have a lan This is why a lantern is good for you. Uh, I'm gonna show you how fragile this thing is in a bit, and I really don't want to do this. Oh, maybe it's not that fragile. Hang on, let me just... There we go. Now... <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you uh, break a lantern. It leaves you more stuff to clean. It, like... Yeah, it burns the walls or whatever. Uh, yeah. Very annoying. Uh, which is a very bad downside to this. I mean, it's a very good light source. And uh, once it's burnt like this, once it's broken, you have to throw it away. Um, it will get picked up by the sniffer, you have to throw it away. There you go. And the next thing in this vending machine is... First aid kits. Alright, first aid kits. Uh, you just have to grab them and then place them. Like, display these things. You see these things? You, it shows up in a lot of levels, and you need to vend those vending uh, first aid kits. Place them in there. Just, it's very easy. You just grab the the first aid kit, walk over, and then just right click, just let go, and it's gonna automatically uh, swoop right in and close it. There you go. That's what the first aid kit does. And uh, that's about the basics of the vending machine. There will be more stuff to vend in uh, specific levels for example like uh, incubation emergency where you have to like vent lights and where you have to like vent lights and uh, eggs i don't know you you see in a bit and that was um uh, the bucket glitched out and not sure why yeah it, it happens whenever you're trying to stack buckets yeah as you can see the top one's just going crazy one thing I really hate about stacking buckets is that what happened, but uh, you know the the high risk high reward, you know. Usually it glitches out when you like place them into a stack, uh, very, very vaguely, like very badly. It's not perfectly positioned or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I positioned it pretty nicely. I'm not sure why I did that. Also, I'm gonna grab a light along with me, just so that you can see what it is that I'm trying to clean. Alright, that should be good. It should be all. Mm, maybe I really should take the uh, lantern out. Oh wait, hang on. So, I'm gonna do something that you should not do, so that you will know not to do it. Do not place your um, totally lit lantern, your totally fine lantern, into water. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but don't do that. So if your friends are like just, hey, why don't you just put the lantern in the water? Tell them no, don't do that though. No. Just like scream at them or something like that, go crazy or something because you absolutely cannot do that at all. All right, all right, good. 
Oh, uh, neat. Also, something very neat. A detail is that whenever you lit a flare, you dump it in the water. It doesn't get lit again. I mean, clearly it's in water, but still, nice detail. Broken so many things already. All right, uh, next tunnel. Not gonna lie, this is a fairly easy map. You should be able to finish this in like uh, I don't know an hour. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, it did take me like two and a half hours to finish this map. The very first time I played it, but uh, once you get seasoned, once you like play so many maps, this isn't gonna be that hard at all. Why? Why is there footprints? Why am I still leaving footprints? My God! Oh no! Why? What? Uh, uh, how? How? How game? How did that happen? You weird. Game, you weird. You're just mean to me today. You're just really mean to me today. Oh my god. I didn't even do anything in the buckets already. Malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. Glitching. Glitching out. They're already going whoop de doop de whoop de stoop de. Oh. Very dangerous. Do not oh, wa gotta watch out for the uh, all the trash, the tippets, and all that. Uh, whoops. Because like um, if you like dropped, I'm pretty sure I demonstrated it earlier today, but earlier just now. But if you like dropped it on the 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 trash and all that, they still do get affected. So bummers. The the tippets and all that may be invisible to you, but they're not invisible to the to other things, so they might still get effect physically affected by other things. Just, just um, unfortunate. Which is really unfortunate. And oh my God, what happened here? Haha! <laughs> it's, it's like a massacre. Yeah. All right, for this, this should be all for this tunnel, or rather, this section in general. Um, yeah, alright, and then we're going to the next, next section, next tunnel, it's right here might as well. Alright, also another neat trick that you can make sure that you, uh, grab everything is that you can count how many of the things there are in this particular section, like, cause like everything, every single trash and all that, they're not RNG, like, Sure. Every single trash and all that, they're like are they're not RNG. They're all like um, pre-planned to be there every single time you uh, open a new game. So every single debris, uh, I should say debris, has like the same amount like over here. Like for example, in this spot, there are like total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight shotgun shells. So every time, every single time you open a new game, you all, uh, open this map, there will be eight shotgun shells over here. So to make sure that you do not miss any shotgun shells, you can uh, count the shotgun shells to know that you didn't miss any. Just a neat trick, and it really helps sometimes uh, when when uh, you don't not sure if you miss anything or not, and if even if you use the sniffer and you don't. It's getting something nearby, but you don't know what it is. It's it's good that you have an idea of what you may or may not have missed, you know? No, I still gotta make sure to clean the stairs. The stairs are dirty. You can't step on them. Right, so right now, let's say you have a bin, right? And you have a flare. And you have a bunch of trash that is paper. And paper trash, well... When you burn them, they don't turn into uh, another another thing. Hang on, let me just quickly demonstrate. All right, this is a paper trash, right? This is a paper uh, Chinese noodle trash thing, and this is a can. So if I burn the paper trash, it turns into nothing. But if I burn the can. It turns into this thing. Now this is just trash. It's still trash. It's just 
burnt trash and when you whenever you burn like a barrel or a crate or this thing it turns into that that uh, burnt trash but uh, way bigger depends on the size of the thing so only the only thing that you can burn but turn into nothing is paper trash and what counts as paper trash well paper paper things counts as paper trash uh, things like things like uh, paper cups uh, this uh, crisp packets noodles uh, just crumbled paper they all count as paper trash and notes too uh, I'm not sure where I can find notes but yeah that's all like the solar fire also burns paper trash let me demonstrate as you can see right here it burns the trash too so what you can do is you place the flare inside the bin and you place the trash into the bin and it's, it's gonna start burning all the paper trash just shake it up a bit yep no, just, just, come on just just burn it come on I think there's one more yeah one more oh wait no it's just burn trash and there we go you have room for more stuff into the bin and it's also very satisfying to see uh, especially in levels like um, especially in levels like uh, revolutionary robotics where this one section does a lot of paper you can just use this method to burn everything wait did it just burn the burn trash no it burned burn the can bruh another way you can uh, do things if you like go in the dark hallway or something you can like place a flare inside the bin and then just walk everywhere because like the light uh, uh, shines through the bin yeah okay I really hope I can fit in both of these big guys in to the bin here uh, wait hang on something something got in my eye mm, it's bully Maguire he kicked some dirt in my eye get it uh -huh. yeah reference yes good got it fine I'll stop all right I almost forgot there's like uh, something in here a hand like if you're using the sniffer and it's going off that section and uh, that section is most probably the hand yeah not sure why a hands in there but apparently it is the thing is that I didn't get any malfunctions from the bin dispenser, so that's, so that's pretty cool. Come on, get in there. Get in there, come on. I'm gonna close, close the door on you. See? Now you're burning even faster now. There we go. Good boys. Alright, so that should be all. I think I'm gonna start stacking. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys where the stacking zones are. Uh, all right, 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 all right. Okay, the broom. I forgot to talk about this uh, on the last episode. This is the broom. It's you can grab it and it stays in your inventory. It's in the fourth slot. Like it, you press the four number number key for, and it shows up. It does essentially nothing. Uh, it, if you right click, it wax just like the broom. When you left click, it like sweeps things over, and that's about it. It's not really much use to it, except for in core sample. Uh, once you you going in co into core sample, it's gonna be very useful. Bit I'm gonna show you the stacking zones. Uh, yeah, this crate is orange. It's over here, and um, this section over here, it's the barrels. As you can see, it's barrels. It's yellow. There's another light here. You don't have to throw this away. I'm gonna put put this right here, and I'm gonna start stacking everything. And uh, I'm gonna grab all the pits too. I'll be right back.
think that should be all. All the things that I have to stack. So, alright, the uh, the uh, first aid kit. One more, we need one more, thank you. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Uh, do I have it? Do I. Is it. Is it gone? Hmm. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. Footprints. Get another one. And. There we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. So, what's left is to grab the pits. I will be back once I grab all the pits and uh, we can punch out. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention. when Before you punch out, you have to make sure that your incinerator doors are closed. It affects the score. Alright, you have to make sure that it's closed. You have to, you just have to. If you don't, I'll spank you. Uh, this you can just leave it behind. The brooms don't matter. Uh, this thing too. This thing. Uh, this toilet seat. Yeah, you can just leave it behind. It don't matter. Like, if the stiffer doesn't pick it up, you don't have to throw it away. Alright, just went around the map. The sniffer is not uh, going off. We should be good. Again, no paperwork. We're just gonna clean the place nice and clean. Not doing any paperwork because I don't want to. Let's see how much we get. Exceptional because, of course, 101 in 1 hour and 12 minutes. Huh. I honestly I did that way faster than I supposed to. Mm hmm. And there you have it, that is waste disposal. Oh wait, hang on. Right, so before I clock out, let me just see if there's anything that I missed. Uh, official notice, blah blah blah. What winning the mess, yes, okay. All of these, they didn't say we missed anything, so we did it. Guys, it's a squeaky clean level for once. I mean, sure, this is just the second episode. The first episode, we didn't really clean it 100%, but... Um, we did it today. We did it, uh, this time, and... It... We had a good time. Yeah. We definitely did. Um, I didn't do anything embarrassing or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> definitely. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to check my new other videos if you haven't already and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye